Shoplifting is becoming a bigger and more serious problem in the metro area, with some retailers now overwhelmed by theft, leaving employees to manage sometimes dangerous encounters. Fox News' Kendra Ken joins us now live with a deep dive into this concerning issue. Kendra, good morning. Good morning. And over the last several months, I've been speaking with several loss prevention managers at big box stores. They manage theft. Now, their corporate offices denied their requests to speak with me in formal interviews. But some of those employees told me retail workers are regularly threatened and sometimes even attacked. Sometimes thieves boldly walk out of stores with carts overflowing with stolen items. They say it's never been as bad as it is right now and they don't see any solutions in sight and it's hurting small businesses too. The headlines around Portland are everywhere. Burglaries, robberies, shoplifting, vandalism and retailers say the job of just trying to stay in business has never been so hard or so dangerous. We've seen an increase in, in uh, assaults, in uh, drug use within the stores, in threats, uh, individuals threatening with weapons. People are just really bold. I haven't seen anything like I've seen over the last couple of years. This new landscape, just one of the reasons so many small businesses have gone under and now affecting some powerful companies too. You may have heard Starbucks is closing two of its Portland locations, citing employees' safety concerns. And just recently, Cracker Barrel shuttered its doors on Hayden Island. A recent survey of metro area retailers, mostly big box stores in Portland, found nearly 80% of them say theft had gone up significantly at their business over the past 18 months. It comes as 80% of respondents also reported they don't have adequate police response for crimes and a whopping 95% say they are unhappy with how their local governments are handling property crime. Some of the feedback I've got from some retailers is, is they, feel, they feel helpless right now. Industry experts say shoplifters are in it for the cash motivated to steal expensive merchandise and resell it online or through the black market. Most of these individuals know the police aren't going to respond, and if they do get caught, uh, you know, they're, they're most likely not going to be prosecuted, and if they are prosecuted, uh, you know, they're, they're probably not going to spend a lot of time in jail for, for this type of crime. It's all about risk versus reward, says Jeremy Girard, the president of the Organized Retail Crime Association of Oregon. Gerard also works locally in loss prevention, telling Fox 12 that some professional thieves will steal hundreds of thousands of dollars of merchandise during short crime sprees. And with fewer police investigations, so comes a drop in the number of police reports filed by businesses after theft. Gerard says it's not unusual now for big box stores to strategically pursue theft cases involving only their Clackamas or Washington County locations. They do have the resources to be able to take those cases over Portland right now. It's a big problem with a multi-billion dollar price tag in the Pacific Northwest. You know what? It's really that bad. It's really that bad. Crime, defunding the police. Well, now what? Walmart is closing its doors. There's two Portland locations and they're closing down simply because people have emboldened themselves. Actually, I would say the people have emboldened themselves. I'm talking about the, the taxpayer citizens have put crime into such a spotlight where people don't even care about getting caught. Apparently, in the Portland area, you remember, defund the police. Well, that's kind of getting the worst of them now. Simply because now, not only are people going into stores not caring about getting caught, because if they do get caught, then they're going to, if the prosecutor's office actually decides to pursue the case, which is at a very low rate, then they don't even worry about the amount of time that they will be sentenced because that's also another issue where the prosecutor's office seems to not even be interested in pursuing these cases. So where does that leave Portland? Well, one of the biggest box stores, they already saw Starbucks close in Portland and now they will be seeing the remaining two Walmart stores closing. Matter of fact, this is the type of stuff that goes down in Walmart. Ah! Fuck, I'm 
It's so bad at Walmart. They even locking up. Yeah, you see the picture. They're actually locking up underwears and socks. Like, how bad could crime be? And I'm talking about shoplifting. They have put such a low importance on shoplifting that not only do you have small businesses closing their doors? You also have big box stores like Walmart and looking what what's locked up. Look what's locked up. They locking up underwears. Like, is it that bad? People like so bold. They just they're like, you know what? I ain't, I ain't really changed my underwear today. I'm just going to go ahead and, and go ahead and put a pair on at Walmart and just walk out like I'm not sure what they doing over here at Walmart, but. Apparently, the people of Portland have decided to turn their back on more conservative politicians setting rules and laws and actually allowing the police departments in the area to do their job. Instead, they got a lot of woke ideas. And that's all because of the people who are in power. And being so, we see that high value items like underwears have to have to be locked up well walmart as you can tell is going to be shutting down and i will be interested in seeing how this is going to affect the area now you already know walmart carries so many products but if people don't care about breaking the law because they know that the police departments are being defunded not on a wide scale you know what i mean like it's not actually going down to the extent where they're going to shut the police down they're not then they're not pushing it that far but they are reducing the funding defund but they're not doing it on a wide scale like they're going to shut down they're just understaffed and underpaid right so with that being said they can't effectively do their job the prosecutor's office doesn't pri uh, prioritize those shoplifting or those theft cases especially petty theft and with that being said, if they actually do pursue a case, because let's just uh, assume that it's now a felony, then what happens is uh, maybe you get lucky and they don't actually pursue the case to the extent where it actually goes to trial. Maybe they just say, hey, we'll give you three months of probation and you done cashed out several thousand dollars at Walmart. I even saw a video where somebody was actually walking out with a 72 inch TV and tried to put it in their back seat. And luckily the loss prevention was able to stop them. But uh, the person just got in their car and drove off. They didn't even run. They pretty much just walked. But get in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts on this situation. Walmart, Portland, Democrat area. Ah. I guess it's what's best, right? The people of Portland, especially if you're from Portland, I would love to hear what you got to say. But if you're not, definitely get in the comment section. Let me hear your thoughts on this. I think um, it's really bad if you got a big department store like Walmart. They're not closing because they don't have the ability to sell products. They're closing because they don't have the ability to sell more products than the products that's actually stolen. Who's going to take that many losses? Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.